Hello. How are you? Thank you for joining me. Most useful inventions by countries. This is a video by World TV Studio. As an American, we're mostly just taught about what, almost exclusively just taught about what Americans invented, you know? So I'm, I always find it fascinating to learn about what other people in other countries invented. And even sometimes there's misconceptions among Americans like, I was under the impression, a lot of Americans were under the impression that an American invented the car, but Henry Ford just invented, you know, like the mass production of cars, not the car. So I don't know. I'm just curious to see the most useful inventions by countries all around the world. Top inventions that change the world. Cool. All right. Let's see. Paper. That's a pretty big one. China invented paper. God. How did we even function as a society before paper? Gunpowder. Knew that one. Magnetic compass. China. Damn, China's killing it. I did not realize China invented paper gunpowder. I mean, I knew they invented gunpowder. But the compass. These are pretty fundamental. These are pretty important. Italy eyeglasses. That's pretty got that's pretty damn important too. <laughs> the flush toilet. The UK. In 1591, damn. People for so long didn't even have flushing toilets. <laughs> Thanks, UK. The pendulum clock. The Netherlands. I'm going to say, surely someone invented something. I mean, that's iconic. It's cool. But is there something about a pendulum clock that's special? Not that I know. Maybe that's got something. Is Was the pendulum like... Um, used to actually keep the time back in the day or something. His idea came from Galileo's observation of pendulums. I don't know. Okay, cool. The reflecting telescope. Another big UK invention. The steam engine. Wow. So is the steam engine the first engine? The first crude steam engine, Thomas Newcomen invented, improved on Savory's design. James Watt improved Newcomen's design, which produced the steam engine. Started the Industrial Revolution. No big deal. Here we go. Here we got oh bifocal. Benjamin Franklin bifocal lenses. That's just where they have a different prescription on top and bottom, right? Come on, we got better inventions than that. I mean, that's a nifty thing, but... This discovery is found to be controversial, however, since there were other inventors of the bif... So he didn't even invent it. <laughs> sewing machine. The UK is killing it, not gonna lie. Sewing machine is freaking iconic as well. Vaccines. The UK once again. Italy again on the list. The battery. Aren't there batteries that were found made out of like clay? Maybe that's fake. Maybe that was from like a show, like the ancient aliens show, where they try and say people had batteries. Like ancient Egyptians had batteries and stuff. But I've heard that kind of thing. That that it was in like a clay bowl and whatever uh, uh, uh this makes more sense 1800s italy first battery alessandro volt no volta cool name for a battery inventor or is he the reason it's called a volt anyway the railroad once again no big deal <laughs> The UK coming in with an absolutely fundamental invention. Still used to this day, you know what I mean? The bicycle. Of course Germany invented the bicycle. Very cool invention. I always thought bicycles were super cool. It's pretty cool how you can 
take the mechanics of the human body. It's just powered by the human body, and yet it makes us so much more efficient, at least as far as traveling on flat land and, you know, smooth surfaces. It's just you can go, you can travel so much faster and even carry things with a bicycle. Brilliant. The machine was the first means of transportation to utilize two wheels simultaneously. Cool. 1818. And they look, well, I was going to say they look exactly the same, but I don't know if this is representative of what they looked like. Probably not. USA, the electric motor. That's kind of cool. Okay. Electric motors, mechanical injury by using an electric current. I mean, I shouldn't say it's kind of cool. Obviously, that's really cool. 1821, that long ago. Let's go, USA. Refrigerator. 1834. It's just not that long ago, you know. Less than 200 years ago. Before that, <laughs> food would just spoil. You'd have to put salt all over it, bury it in the ground, you know. <laughs> cool. Good job, USA. Let's go. Honestly, the UK is kicking our butts right now, though, in this. Airships. That's a cool one. I feel like ever since the Hindenburg, they kind of... They don't get enough love anymore, you know? Um, that, was a, that was a blemish on the airships history. Because they're cool, you know? I wish I saw more blimps flying around through the air and stuff. But I wouldn't want to be on one that exploded. Um, combustion engine. Okay. That's a huge one. France coming in out of nowhere with the airships and the combustion engine. Et, et ne le noir. Dynamite. I always thought China, I guess I just conflated gunpowder with dynamite, but I thought China invented dynamite. Kind of ironic, a neutral, almost pacifist country like Sweden invented dynamite. Although I guess it's used mostly for demolition and stuff, at least nowadays. It's used for many industrial purposes, including quarantine, demolition, construction, and mining. I don't know how you do construction with dynamite, but demolition, for sure. Alfred Noble. That's a big one. You gotta, you gotta admit, Alexander Graham Bell. I don't know why that one sticks in my head. Alexander Graham Bell. Something. His last name is Bell, and it's like the bell on the telephone. You know, it's easy to remember. That's a pretty freaking good one. Good job, USA. <laughs> and the light bulb. This one is heavily scrutinized, you know, as far as if that's true. But here in America, we're absolutely taught. Edison light bulb. Television. Who did, wait, what country did it? What country did it? Where's the flag? It could be said that the invention of the television came about with hard work and research of multiple scientists and innovators. That, oh, it cannot be given to an individual. How the world has changed, you know, what? That's that's got to be one of the most crazy inventions ever. As far as going back, if you could go back in time and show people, look, you can look into this box and see other people and humans and events that happened in the past. You can, you can watch them. <laughs> Unbelievable where we are today. Carl Benz. There it is, the automobile. That's what it looked like? Wow, so it was like a horse and buggy, but just the buggy. Look how simple that looks. It's even got like a chain, like a bicycle. So Germany invented the bicycle and the car. Phew. Motion picture camera. U UK and US. 1888. The radio. I always found radio. 
I mean, I find all kinds of wireless signals weird, you know? It's like the, all these radio signals are going through the air like they're in this room with me. If I turned on a radio, I could intercept radio waves from miles and miles and miles and miles away. Hundreds of miles. If it's an AM signal, right? Something weird about that to me. <laughs> Modern air conditioning. So that's why the United States, I mean, compared to the rest of the world, it's like the rest of the world just isn't as on board with air conditioning as we are, it seems like. But part of that reason might be because someone here invented it. Willis. Good job, Willis. I, for one, love it. And I know tons of places have AC around the world, but in America, every building has AC. Every building, every house, for the most part. Airplanes, oh, that's a, that's a cool one. The Wright Brothers. You definitely learn about this in school here in America. What an awesome invention. Gosh. I mean, just the fact that the air moving above it, on the above the wing goes faster than the air under the wing, and that just makes it lift into the air. It's that simple. Beautiful thing. Radar. Ooh, this must have been invented during a war. 190. I can't see if that says 0401. Electric washing machine. Okay. I mean, I guess. That is important. I would hate to hand wash clothes. So good job, USA. Woo, woo. Electric traffic light. USA again. Band-Aid, USA coming in hard. That's kind of boring, though. It's like a sticker on your skin. That's That barely qualifies as an invention, in my opinion. I mean, it, that's kind of an insult to Earl, so I take it back. It's an invention. It's just... Barely. It's a sticker with a pad on it. Antibiotics. So they invented vaccines and antibiotics. Damn. Good job, UK. Magnitude scale for what, like earthquakes? The Richter scale, yeah. Okay. That's a cool thing. USA. Germany. Man, a lot of UK, Germany, USA. Modern computer. Really? Okay. Okay. Conrad Zeus. That's another one that would, of course, be under a lot of um, scrutiny because so many people had their hands in inventing a computer. But this is the modern computer. Conrad Zeus. I'm surprised I don't know that name off the top of my head. You know what I mean? 1941, and then the whole world changed since then, huh? Good rot. Good job, Conrad. And that's a huge one for Germany. My God. Nuclear reactor. I did not know the U.S. Someone here invented that. Netherlands again. Home hemodialysis. Uh, I've never. I did, is that any different than just dialysis, where they put they transfuse your blood and stuff? Uh, I, I guess that's just a full word for it. That's a that's an important thing they got going there. Good job, Netherlands, Willem. What did Alan Turing invent? That's what I'm thinking about right now because it said. You know, it said that other guy invented the computer. Alan Turing invented... I, I would have said he invented the computer, but... Microwave oven. They get a bad rap. You know, if anything's cooked in the microwave, you usually think it's crap, but they're pretty cool. The fact that you can heat something up in mere seconds without even using, like, a flame or, you know, a... A source of heat. Mm. 
lasers, USA. The internet. No big deal, guys, just the internet, but that's another thing. Well, that was invented at some college, right? An early form of the internet was invented by the ARPANET when scientists and military experts were concerned that a Soviet attack could wipe out the nation's system of telephones. Man, the internet, guys. The internet. We are living in the future, is all I'm thinking right now. Email. Genetic fingerprinting. What does that mean? Process and forensic scientists to identify individuals according to their fingerprints. What does that got to do with genetics? I am sorry. I don't understand. Genetic fingerprinting? W, w, w. Tim Berners Lee. Yes, indeed. Iconic. I thought it was Al Gore. The internet is a series of tubes. The first PC virus. Pakistan? What? Out of nowhere, out of left field. Pakistan coming in. These guys. Amjad Farooq. January 1986, the first virus written for Windows-based PCs was born, simply known as Brain. Two brothers. That's pretty badass. They were only 17 and 24 years old. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty badass. <laughs> if only computers couldn't get viruses. Speaking of virus. <laughs> There's no way that's on here. Did Donald Trump make this video? This is hilarious. <laughs> China invented. I feel like it's a joke. Like, yeah. <laughs> I can't even. You know, I got nothing to say about that. They invented it. <laughs> I see you, World TV. That's funny. That's. Controversial. <laughs> yeah, I got nothing to say about that. Anyway, that was fun. That was really cool. Good job, world. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Goodbye.